Hello, physical science class. Mr. Worley here. We're going to do lecture 6.3 now called Controlling Chemical Reactions. I want to point out our objectives. One, explain how activation energy, that's a vocab word, is related to chemical reactions. And two, identify factors that affect the rate of a chemical reaction. So what is ener energy of activation and what factors affect the rate? We have our lecture exercises, SRQs, page 209, numbers 1 through 2. Make sure that you have your book. Make sure that you have a paper to write notes on, uh, and a pen, and a clear mind, and a good environment to study. So without further ado, let's get moving. Uh, we ha you'll notice we have a couple of key terms right here. We've got activation energy, concentration, catalyst, enzyme, and inhibitor. Be sure that you know these words, because they're vocab words and would be good on a quiz. All right, here we go. <clears throat> I'm on page 100, and, sorry, 204, chapter 3, Controlling Chemical Reactions. With a splintering crash, a bolt of lightning strikes a tree in the forest. The lightning splits the tree and sets fire to the leaves on the ground below it. The leaves are dry and crisp from the drought. The crackling fire burns a black patch in the leaves. The flame leaps to nearby dry twigs and branches on the ground. Soon, the forest underbrush is blazing. The barks of trees start burning. Miles away, in an observation tower, a ranger spots the fire and calls out the alarm. Forest fire! Forest fires do, don't just happen. Moving down the page. <clears throat> Many factors contribute to them. Lightning and drought, just to name two. But, in general, wood does not always burn easily. Yet, once wood begins to burn, it gives off a steady supply of heat and light. Why is it so hard to start and maintain some chemical reactions? I don't know, but we'll find out. Lightning can supply enough energy to ignite a forest fire. Alright class, that concludes video number one. Please move on to video number two.